Inside of your exercise files folder, I've given you this file called index.php just to take a look at. You can also get this in Joomla's folder structure from www, go to the templates folder, go to the protostar folder and open up index.php and you'll see the same thing. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what is inside of this index.php file before we start working with this code ourselves. So if you look at index.php, it looks a little bit scary, particularly if you don't know PHP, but there's a lot of stuff here that we can copy and paste over to our template. And in fact, we're going to do exactly that. So it's helpful to know what these lines of code mean so that you can work with them. Line one, anytime you see this little angle bracket, a question mark followed by PHP, this is an opening PHP tag. It's the equivalent of the left angle bracket inside of HTML. All we're saying is this is where PHP starts. This is a comment. So it looks like a CSS comment, the slash star followed by the star slash. So this is a comment indicating the ownership of this particular template in this particular case. You don't have to include that comment on the top of your template file. Then on line 10, we have this wonderful line that says defined J exec or die. What does that mean? Well, this is a test to find out about the variable called underscore J exec. Basically, it's a test to see if this is Joomla that you're trying to install this template into. If you're trying to install a template into Joomla, it should install. And this is going to go on to the next line of code to execute. But if you're trying to take, say, a Joomla template and install it in WordPress, that's not going to work out too well. So what will happen is WordPress would see this line of code. It wouldn't find that variable underscore J exec defined, and it would, well, die. It just wouldn't execute any of the rest of the code. So that is what that first line of code is designed to do here on line 10. Then we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff here that has to do with variables and using variables inside of your templates. But there's some other interesting lines here we're going to have to include. Here on line 35, we want to load the bootstrap framework. So this is a very important line of code. We're going to copy and paste that into our index.php. We also want to make sure that we load the bootstrap bug fixes. So that's down here on line 41. We're going to make sure we include that. And then if we just scroll on down here past this other stuff, down into the main part of the document here, we're going to see some other little bits of code that are going to be useful to us. So first of all, here on line 82, you'll see this jdoc include statement. And what a jdoc include statement is a statement that is designed to pull in certain kinds of content from Joomla into this template. So in this case, the type is head. So what will go here? Head code. What does that mean? Well, your HTML page title, your meta descriptions and meta keywords, and all of the other things that you can customize inside of Joomla that might go in the head of the document that aren't currently there inside of this code. We're still looking at the head of the document. All this PHP that we saw before that, that becomes before we even actually get into the rest of the document. Further down here on the page, we actually start the body of the document here on line 132. There's little bits of code here that are important as well. So for example, down here on line 143, you'll see the line of code that calls in a module. Again, it's that JDoc include kind of thing. This one, though, is set up to be a type of modules, followed by a module position name. In this case, it's position zero and a module style. I will show you exactly how to include this code in the next video and tell you about those styles and what they do. And then further down on this page, you may see several modules, obviously, but there's only one component inside of Joomla, and that is located down here on lines 167 and 168. So on line 167, we have here the JDoc include type of message. And what that is, is say you submit a contact form and you get the little message on the top that says, thank you for your message. That comes from this particular little bit of code. It's usually positioned right on top of the component, and of course, a component in Joomla is anything that goes in that big area of the web page. So any of your content, including your articles, your blogs, any sort of component-based piece of content like your sitemap, all of that is going to go into line 168 there. It will call that and display it there. So those are the important little bits of code that come out of the Protostar template that we're going to borrow. There's a whole lot more going on here in terms of code. If you have a background in PHP, by all means, comb through this file and take a look at it and see what's going on. Some of this other code that's in here we'll revisit later in the video. But for right now, there's just a few little lines of code that we need to focus on. And we're going to copy and paste those into our index.html in the next video.